Hi, Dr. Hagmeyer here, and today we're talking about uh, a new video series that we put together on PCOS. This is an important area to me. I work with many patients around the United States and around the world who, who literally are taking medications for PCOS, but they still suffer with so many of the symptoms. And part of why I'm doing this series is that women, for the most part, continue to be ignored when it comes to the symptoms that they experience by hormonal imbalances. A question that I'm often asked is, what is the cause behind PCOS? And what I've found over the years is that no two women with PCOS really have the same exact sequence of events that really lead to or trigger a PCOS diagnosis. But I will tell you that nearly all of them are suffering with either some sort of blood sugar handling problem, a liver gallbladder issue, a gastrointestinal uh, problem or gastrointestinal infection. They're dealing with food sensitivities. They're dealing with insulin resistance. I'm also uh, find that more and more are experiencing an underlying autoimmune disorder of the thyroid gland. Now, in my last video series, we talked specifically about uh, the fact that more and more women that have PCOS, once they're tested for Hashimoto's uh, thyroid disease, many of them are testing positive. And I will tell you that in order for you to really get to, to, to correcting your PCOS, if you have an underlying thyroid problem or if you have Hashimoto's, is going to be really centered around getting that thyroid or that Hashimoto's into remission. And that's the approach that we take here in the office that's really just been so helpful to the women that I work with. You really need to look at all the aspects behind, uh, behind PCOS, not just the blood sugar component. What we really need to ask outside of the dietary changes that need to be made that help support healthy blood sugar levels are really what else could be contributing to the insulin resistance? What else could be contributing to the blood sugar dysregulation? What could be the cause behind these, okay? And I think this is where many allopathic doctors and even doctors who practice natural medicine, even functional medicine, they really fail to dig just a little bit deeper, okay? Traditional medicine simply puts women who have PCOS on metformin and then really sends them on their way telling them to come back in three or six months, okay? Now, if you suffer with PCOS and you're watching this video, then you can probably attest to that this approach really doesn't work. Uh, and, and unfortunately, you know, over the, the long haul, this is really just going to put you at further risk for more health problems. Now, that's not to say that metformin doesn't really have a place, but the thing that you need to keep in mind is that insulin resistance is really just one player. It's only one piece of the puzzle. Insulin resistance is, is a complex mix of, of just many different kinds of hormonal imbalances. And how these hormonal imbalances show up in one woman is obviously going to be very different in, in terms of how they show up and how they're different in the next. And this is, again, why it's so critical to really take a step back for a moment and really ask, what's going on in this person's body? What are the major players? Uh, is it the immune system? Is it inflammation in the gut? Is it a prolonged stress response that's literally dampened down the HPA axis or the HPG axis? What is a woman eating that could be hormonally promoting blood sugar dysregulation? Is she sleeping? Uh, is she having good quality sleep? Is she totally stressed out at home? These causes are as different as the woman suffering from the symptoms. These are all questions we really need to dig into if we're really going to help you get better. Now, in my next video, what I'm going to do is explain some of those important key hormone players that need to be understood and really the best way to test for them. So until next time, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.